We're gonna make a rocket from a two liter soda bottle and we're gonna make the launcher for the rocket from some PVC plastic pipe from any home center you can get it. And then we're gonna propel it using just water and a bicycle pump. Let's take some measurements. We need three pieces of pipe and the first one is two inches. Can you mark it there at two inches? Nice job. And we need a second piece that's 18 inches long and Evie, what's 18 plus two? 20. Can you mark it at 20? And the third piece? 78 inches. Josh, what's 78 plus 20? 98. Perfect. Mark it at 98. Josie, help me cut this. I'm gonna hold here, you hold there, and we're gonna cut this right on the mark. Here's what the rocket launcher is gonna look like when we're done. We're gonna put the 18 inch piece into the T and the 78 inch piece into the T and the two inch piece into the middle of the T. And we're gonna pressurize this with air and so we have to have an end cap to keep the air pressure in and another air cap. And we're gonna put a valve in this air cap to get the air in. And to do that, we have to drill a hole. Perfect. All right, guys, the valves we're gonna use, we got ours at an automotive supply store. Uh, they come in a pack and they look like this with a little threaded end and then a bulge here on the bottom. And we're just going to simply thread that through the cap that we drilled. Now, I want to protect the threads when we pull it, so back on with the cap. And Josh, if you'll hand me those pliers, thank you. I will get a good grip on it. And Michael, will you pull that side? Now, let's pull it and get a nice tight fit. Keep going. Pull. Show me your muscles. And all right, there you go. That valve is through. Now we are ready to glue the launcher together. Before we can glue the pipe, we have to clean it with some of this purple primer. Josh, why don't you put some of that, slosh it around the end. And Josh, get me some in the cap here too. Real good. Okay, Evie, we're gonna put some glue on. I'm gonna put some inside on your T, and I'm gonna put some outside on the 18 inch piece here and we're gonna push it together real hard and kind of twist it. We have to work fast. Excellent. Micah, this is half inch PVC pipe and two liter bottles slide onto it just perfectly. And we're gonna slide that almost to the end, but not quite touching. And we're gonna put a seal right here between the bottle and the pipe. What's the seal for? The seal is to keep the air and the water inside the bottle until we're ready to launch. So we have a regular birthday candle being held in place with just a little bit of tin foil. What are you using this for? We're softening the pipe. We'll push it together hard and make a little bulge. And that's where we make our seal. Exactly. Let me show you how the bottle seats on the bulge. Slip that on there. Like that. And that'll hold a lot of pressure in. But of course, the pressure's going this way, so how do we kind of clamp that bottle onto the pipe? Well. We use these zip ties and they will wrap around hmm. the handle. They go above the handle. So you've actually got the little proud part facing in, grabbing the lip right there of the bottle. And if you were to clamp those down, oh, that bottle's not coming off. Right. right. But we use a one and a half inch piece of PVC pipe. Instead of my hand to hold these zip ties in place. Right, and it slides on up. So will that not come off? Wow, oh, that's <laughs> remarkable. It's not going anywhere. That's right. All right, so how do we hold the zip ties onto the PVC? That's with a pipe clamp. Mm-hmm. Tighten Perfect. down in the middle there. And then what's the trick here? Because we need to have this piece of PVC uh, a little bit of pressure pushing up to the bottle, but we want to be able to pull it back so we can launch this. How do we accomplish that? That's it. Let me show you. So here's the real deal. What are we looking at? Well, the new piece is a spring made from a two-liter bottle with the ends cut off and holes in the middle. Okay. That pushes that down. PVC pipe back up, that so trigger pipe. Let's look at the whole contraption right here. We have got the pipe clamp right here. That is holding on the zip ties. The bottle is seated, so they grab. PVC pipe goes over it. Spring holds it in place, and then you've got a string right here to release and fire that bottle. Are we ready to launch? Let's go. This is great. Gang, it's safety first. 
And you have to do this with adults. Do it in a wide open space and always point it up. All right, so we've got ourselves a bicycle pump right here. We are connected to the stem, which means we're about ready to put the bottle on the end. Go ahead and slide that on. So the bottle has got about, what, a third fill of water? Why is that? A third to a half. And Sir Isaac Newton said that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And if you have a water in, it goes a little higher. You could do it with air, but water's going to make it go further. That's right. I like the sounds of that. All right, let's pump it up. Mikey, you want to do the honors? So we've got a pressure gauge here. How much PSI are we looking for? Not more than 70. Give us 70. 